What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be showing you my top 5 iOS 7 compatible Cydia tweaks. The first tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Tabless. You will see now that at the top and at the bottom there are no longer those little tabs for your control center and your notification center which gives your lock screen a more clean feel with less junk on it. The next tweak is called SimpLock. This is another lock screen tweak available for free as well. What this one does is removes the slide to unlock text that's appeared right here, which removes more clutter from your lock screen to give it a more clean feel, and you can just swipe anywhere and unlock your phone. The next tweak is called Hidden Settings 7. You may have seen this when I opened up Control Center, but what it does is gives you a new toggle in Control Center called Springboard Settings. What you can do is tap on that, and you see you get this whole new hidden settings, which are in iOS 7. You can adjust your parallax, folders, icon animations, control center, lock screen, app slider, car display, lock screen test plugin, screen fade animation, alert and items, notification center, legibility, wallpaper, icon adaptive colors, prevent screen dim, and animation overrides. So I'll just show you an example. Here, if you turn on slow animations, and click done. Let's say I open up settings, you will notice it is very slow now. Same with closing it. Another thing is you can see that now my toggles are all green, which is something that you can change in the control center option here. You just go up here to control center. You can here and you can select the color that you'd like. So you can change it to orange and you see that now the slider is orange. The next city tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Flux. All it does is dim your screen to make it a little bit redder at night. So I'm just going to open up settings, scroll down and click on Flux. See at night, you can change it to very red, middle, not so red, and regular. I can usually keep it right around there or here, just it's much easier on your eyes and you can do longer transitions for older devices which is as the time goes on it'll change the color slowly and not as dramatically as if it's a newer device. The next tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Spring Switch. This one is also available for free. What this does is gives you a respring option and a close all apps option in your multitask switcher. So what you're going to do is you double click and you see just regular multitasking but what you do is you swipe up on your home screen and you'll see you got these options restart or quit apps. Restart restarts your springboard and you can see the springboard restarted and the other thing it does is if we see we have two apps Cydia and Camera if we swipe up there and click quit apps it's going to quit all the apps, and you see we have none left in our multitask switcher. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. All these tweaks are available for free with the default repos on your iPhone, so no need to go add other repos into Cydia. If you guys have not jailbroken iOS 7 or want to jailbreak iOS 7, make sure to check out the link down in the description to my video on how to jailbreak iOS 7 with Evasion. And if you like this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below and give a like rating down right there. Until next time. This is FCPX King, signing out.